tutorial, you are going to need worsted weight cotton yarn. I'm using Lily Sugar and Cream Cottons and an I 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. To get started, we're going to make a magic ring. Chain one. And make 10 half double crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Now we're going to close our magic ring. And we're going to join with a slip stitch to the first half double crochet made. Okay. Round two, chain one, make two half double crochet in each stitch around. I'm getting a little tight here. Two half double crochet in each stitch around. Continue working two half double crochet in each stitch around and join with a slip stitch to the first half double crochet made. For round three, we're going to chain one, two half double crochet in the first stitch half double crochet in the next stitch. Okay, you're going to continue repeating two half double crochet in the next stitch and one half double crochet in the next stitch. Two half double crochet, one half double crochet. Continue repeating that all the way around and join with a slip stitch to your first half double crochet made. For round four, we are going to chain one, two half double crochet, and half double crochet in the next two stitches. Now we're going to repeat that. Two half double crochet in the next stitch, half double crochet in the next two stitches. Continue around repeating two half double crochet, half double crochet, half double crochet, all the way around and join with a slip stitch to the first half double crochet made. For round five, you're going to chain one, two half double crochet, half double crochet in the next three stitches. And repeat again, two half double crochet in the next stitch, half double crochet in the next three stitches. Continue repeating two half double crochet in the next stitch, half double crochet in the next three stitches, all the way around, and join with a slip stitch to the first stitch made. For round six, we're going to chain one, two half double crochet in the first stitch, and half double crochet in the next four stitches. Now we're gonna repeat that three more times. Two double crochet in the next stitch, I mean half double crochet, and then half double crochet in the next four stitches. Repeat. And repeat one more time, two half double crochet, 
half double crochet in the next four. You're going to finish this circle by making one half double crochet in each stitch around and then we're going to join to the first half double crochet made with a slip stitch. For round seven, we're going to chain four, this will count as your first double crochet and chain one space, double crochet in the same stitch. We're going to skip the next two stitches, double crochet, chain one, double crochet in the next stitch. Skip the next two stitches, double crochet, chain one, double crochet in the next stitch. Skip the next two stitches, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Continue repeating this all the way around and join with a slip stitch to the third chain of the turn. Eh, join with a slip stitch to the third chain. With round seven complete, you should have 18 V stitches. For round eight through 12, you're going to slip stitch into the chain space. chain four, double crochet in the same space. Now we're going to continue working around by facing a double crochet, chain one, double crochet in each chain one space around. So double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Again, that's double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Continue repeating that all the way around, join with a slip stitch to your third chain and continue that until you have 12 rows total. Now that I've completed through round 12, I'm going to join with a slip stitch to the third chain and chain one. We're going to make two half double crochet in each stitch around. So two half double crochet in the same stitch that you joined, two half double crochet in the chain one space, two half double crochet in the next double crochet, two half double crochet in the next double crochet, and two half double crochet in the next chain one space. Just continue repeating that, putting two half double crochet in each stitch around. After you've placed two half double crochet in each of the stitches around, you're going to join with a slip stitch to the first half double crochet made. And then for round 14 through 17, you're going to chain one and half double crochet in each stitch around. So continue half double crochet in each stitch around for four more rows. So keep working that half double crochet all the way around and I'll come back when I have all four rows completed. With round 17 complete, you're going to finish off your work and there you have your completed half.